I had done it after sending countless CVs and then being asked to repeat what's on my CV on a separate application form I had ascended and achieved an offer to become a software developer. I waltzed in through the reception on my first day with my newfound employment status. My enthusiasm led me to exploring an empty floor of desks, which was probably because I showed up a whole hour early. I then decided to explore all the random artwork and sculptures around the office. Apparently rumour has it a lot of offices have artwork to be classified as galleries. For tax purposes I think. I then finally picked up my Microsoft Surface Pro which is actually a piece of technological crap. I then proceeded to spend the customary two hours with tech support on the phone trying to get logged in. This was followed by the ritualistic turning it off and on again. Yeah. Come afternoon time and I met my team and took part in a stand up which is pretty much just telling everyone what you're doing today. I didn't have anything planned so I just gave an awkward hi followed by an introduction. I then had a catch up with a senior developer, let's just call him Johnny, who gave me an overview of their software, pretty much half a dozen databases which are serviced by over a thousand applications. Pretty simple says Johnny, yeah simple. This then led me to getting assigned my first task, at which point I realised I don't know shit. I couldn't even get the software code base to work, let alone start writing any code. Then what little I did write was followed by endless errors. Oh god what do I do, I am a fake. So after my crisis of encountering multiple errors, which actually led to even more errors when I tried to fix the original errors, I finally saw one little ray of hope. Through probably sheer dumb luck, something worked and then slowly but surely more of my tests started to pass and then yes, I had done it. Basking in victory with my free mediocre coffee machine latte, I pondered which challenges would face me next. Right then, I got implementing the code into an Azure function app and boom, 541 bugs. Now this process became pretty ritualistic for me loathing in self-doubt until something works and feeling like a genius, followed by more loathing in self-doubt. Of course, halfway through the year, coronavirus happened. Now, I was already working partly from home anyway, but now I made the switch to working from home full time 100%. Being bored out of my mind at home, I tried changing my work scenario up. Maybe a park, maybe a museum, maybe the Antarctic, wherever I could find Wi-Fi really. After a year of this, I made lead developer on a big project. It was pretty inspiring seeing all the progress I'd made, where I'd gotten to. However, this project was no simple feat, and I had guidance from a software sensei who could share many years of wisdom with myself. With that guidance at hand, I was writing code I never thought I could, and impressed with myself with every passing test. After a whole year of ups and downs, followed by greater downs and some ups and then more downs. I felt like a king until the clients changed their requirements for the project. Oh shit.